Today I'm going to show you how to use graphite pencil to do a portrait drawing. First, I want to show you the set of tools I'm using. And this is coming from Artisa. Okay, you can see the logo right here. Okay, it's Artisa eraser, but I'm not gonna use this eraser. I'm gonna use this uh, uh, clay kind of shape is a needy eraser. I have the set of uh, blend, uh, paper blender and the graphite pencil from 4H, 3H, which is H is stands for hard. So it's is a harder, bigger number is harder. 4H, 3H all the way to H and F for fine with between the B, the HB and the H. And then HB and then uh, 1B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, all the way to 8B on this side. On this side, even have 9B, 10B, 12B, 14B. So I have a very big range. And regularly, you don't see uh, anything outside of the 8B, but even not outside of the 6B. But in this set, it includes even darker pencil all the way to 14B, which is really good. I would usually go with something in the middle uh, to start the drawing. And then I'm going to use, when I need to use a little bit, a little bit darker line, or maybe shade it and also have a little bit more of powder to start doing some blending. And I would go into the little bit softer. Hmm, how much I'm going to include, okay? Where's going to be the center? You have to keep thinking about all those are considered as very fundamental. Uh, questions. So how far you're going to put it to the top over there? And maybe the head over here, I'm going to include some more shoulder. So just keep drawing it. Don't need to erase or rush to uh, correct things because you need to put all the, all the mark on the paper and some of the mark, or one of the mark, it would be the correct mark. So I'm going to keep drawing and in this process, you learn how to express yourself uh, in the feeling, okay? It looks like the face is facing a little bit more toward the left side. So I'm gonna leave a little bit more space on the left side, that's okay, even though also this side, also the shadow side, more like. So now, if I decided to, the chin over here, right? The chin over here, and the top would be here, for example, and by the way, the reference actually is sitting in the sharing center classwork. In the classwork, you see the folder called Portrait Likeness 22 SP, which is for uh, 2022 uh, spring semester. And in there, you will see this reference if you want to download it uh, and print it out for yourself. Okay, coming. Take a look at the overall shape for the face. It looked like this. Okay, that's good. Now take a look at the shoulder. The shoulder, the left side connected the right side and affecting to one side shoulder connected the other side because behind the shoulder, there are muscles and the muscle actually somehow connected tight and tied it together. You can have one shoulder so low, the other shoulder very high and that's become very, very difficult to do, right? So uh, you connect that from the neck over, uh, from the chin over here, and then actually the shoulder line from here coming down. And not always the chin is on the same motion. It depends on uh, the, the posture uh, that, that you have. And sometimes you have the, you're looking down or looking up, and the neck uh, and the, the neck positions and the chin position would be different from uh, one pose to the other pose. Okay, I'm gonna have this, but you always can use the chin to to find out what how the shoulder relate to uh, to the head. Now I'm gonna draw it all the way onto this side. You can see that this it would be the other shoulder on the right hand side like that. Right. And you're going to 
sit back a little bit, look at it. Is that right? And should it be a little bit higher? Should it be a little bit lower? And we're not making the final decision. We're just going to draw a little bit more and to see, find out whether or not this is, would be the arrangement, the composition that you like to move forward and finish. Okay, like that. I think this is uh, looks okay, looks pretty good. I do want to include some space down over here. I don't want to make the head too, uh, too big. And I also want to include some of the background here. Okay, if this is your composition, wait, wait. Do I really want this composition? I want you to think a little bit more. I think I'm going to move the top of the head a little bit lower. That's a little bit lower, like that. I feeling it would be a little bit too close to the top. And that's good. I'm gonna get my Nivea eraser. I'm gonna get ready to, uh, to make changes. Okay, what am I gonna do right now as the next step? After I know what's the top versus the chin, the bottom of the chin, okay? Well, after I already know, the shoulder line. Okay, the next thing that would be measurement. We need to measure the width of the face compared to the height of the face. Also, we can divide the vertical space from maybe the hairline, the hairline right over here, right? Or maybe the top of the hair. I'm gonna use using the hairline, yeah, it may be easier. Let's take a look on the screen. To see, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger over here. So I'm gonna take, focus on the face. I say the hairline to the bottom of the chin, not the chin over here. I'm gonna see the neck over here, this shadow. I'm gonna take a look at that. That would become actually, where did you go? Sorry about that. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. Now, from here to here, I'm going to rotate it to take a look. Okay, coming to this side. Hmm, and difficult to see, to say. If I include the ear, it may be easier. I'm going to include the ear over here. I'm going to take a look, and this side, this is the the top to the bottom. And if I'm going to put the ear over here, sometimes I don't include the ear. So see that? Now you can take a look. What I'm thinking about, that could be, that could be just like, you know, two thirds of the whole height. Can you see that? That's almost like, this is one, two, three. It's about three part. So, the width of the face from the outside of the ear to the inside over here, and it's right outside of the cheekbone. That is about two thirds of the whole height. Somehow you just have to find the system. And the Bark Classical Training Program is going to help you to discover the system much faster a quicker and you can have more the way to define it, right? Okay, now since we know that, we're gonna find out and take a look at, I'm going to make it third. Now I'm gonna use my finger over here. I think that it will be one, two, three, right? And you can double check on, it looks like the bottom over here a little bit too much. One two, and three is very much, very much there, okay? And now we're gonna take this two third, right? And then rotate it. Hmm, this is good. So I'm gonna keep the ear outside over here. And inside, and this is the, here you go. This will be the cheekbone. Like that. So the ear, the outside of the ear over here, 
and we're gonna find out what's the inside the ear. And it could be this much, the inside the ear, the sideburn, could be this much. And you're, we're gonna do a little measurement to confirm it. So this could be the face, the inside the face, and the hair a little bit outside over here. And the ear, we don't know the vertical space. So roughly, we find out the, the left side and the right side of the face compared to the height of the face in proportion. So here we go. Now, the, the bottom of the chin will be here. Actually, the, the, bottom, the real bottom of the chin is actually here. Okay, but this is the mark that we use as right under, as right on top of the apple, like right over there, right? So that's the skip. Now we find this first, and we're going to continue measuring and continue making corrections. So roughly, the composition is just pretty good uh, already, okay? What we have done, we haven't do much about, you know, finding the detail, turning the detail shape. We're going to do that a little bit later and as we continue developing. And then that case, the neck over here could be coming down this way. And we can see the angular line is a little bit off from the vertical, like off a little bit like that. Let's draw a little bit over here. We don't have to come to the conclusion and that quickly, that early. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay, now let's take a look at the vertical uh, proportion. Now let's take a look. I think that from the hairline to the eyebrows, and from the eyebrows to the nostril, and the nostril to the chin over here, and could be the same. We're gonna find out where is it at the bottom over here. Uh, make that to the top the same. So I'm gonna take a look. And the hairline to the, I think, think the top of the eyebrows. But anyway, we're gonna test it first, okay? Test it, and if it doesn't work, we try the other way. Oh, actually interesting. This two part exactly from the hairline to the top of the eyebrow, that this eyebrow, and which is, should be the same on the other side. Okay, one and two to the nostril. And now continue from the nostril coming down. Ah. Recognize that is about from here we talk about that would be up on he, up here, which is right over here at the top of the shadow. Okay, let's take a look again. And one, two, to the nostril. And the nostril, yeah, is a little bit a little bit lower than the top of the this shape and the shadow shape. So this is good, right over here. Now we can divide this three, so we can find out the important proportion vertically in the face. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna move this a little bit higher and this a little bit higher and try to make it look exact the same three. Let's do a little measuring. I can take that as one. Oh, 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 not exactly and take the bottom over here. This and this and this. So I'm gonna move this just a little bit lower. And that would be fine. One, two, perfect, three. Oh, we need to moving up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna do that again. One, two, three, perfect. Now, this is good. Now we're gonna draw a little uh, guideline. Okay, this is, would be the top of the eyebrow. Okay, and this is, would be the nostril. Okay, and the bottom of the nose, I need to come down a little bit but we don't know exactly where it should be come down, but this is will be the line for the nostril. Okay, that's important. Okay, now this is the, um, the shape of the 
this shape, this shadow shape, but we are going to walk into those shapes a little bit later. But it should be proportionally correct. And the bottom over here is a whole chin over here, a little bit longer than the top because uh, Peter has opened the mouth and there's a space between the two rolled up T inside the mouth that is making the bottom part a little bit longer. Okay. All right, this is good. That's very important. Let's take a look at, again, from here, from the nostril to the eyebrow, where is the eye line? We need to find out the eye line. And the next, we're going to find out the positions, the vertical positions of the mouth. Right? Very important in this. So take a look at that from here to the bottom of the eye. And here, I'm going to take a look at that. And hmm. And interesting, I think from the top of the nose over here, that to the top of the eyebrow, this, and this is right below this middle space. So if I'm going to find that over here, right, this is would be how much from the nostril. And we can find the middle, the little lower than the middle. So this would be lower, a little bit lower than the middle. This would be the bottom of the eye shape. Right? I think that this is perfectly horizontal. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to keep this, this a little bit higher. And that, okay, that's good. So this is would be the position. So in this measurement process, you need to make yourself very much uh, disconnect with the person. He's just looking for the shape, looking for uh, the mechanical correctness, so that we deliver a better sense of structure, correct, right? Okay, this is good. So let's take a look at, so basically from here to there, we can divide into three, one, two, three. That will be the shape of the eye. So we can divide that in one, two, three. So this is, will be the eye. It's about the top of the eye, right? Everything you can divide it in and this is, would be the center, like from here to here, that's the middle height. So that would be the middle height. So that would be, it has a shadow right in here, right? Like that, this the whole shadow shape. I know it just looks a little bit too big, but that should be correct. So that's, if you, if you doubt it that it is correct, you don't want to just change it. You want to go back to measurement. Right, it's very important. And this side also need to be here. Okay, so somehow this is the shape. But again, we don't know exactly what horizontally, how we divide it. We're gonna go back to that. We need to continue doing more works. Let's take a look at versus the mouth. And I think the bottom of the mouth from the nostril, which is, this is the correct point, we already found. So the bottom of the nose, uh, the nostril to the mouth, uh, the upper of the lip of the mouth, and to this, which is we use to, to use this as is the, the mark to, to measure um, the one, two, three proportion. I think this is right in the middle, okay? And the mouth is right in the middle. Okay, let's put it on for now. And if we need to change it, we can also change it. And also I think that from here to here, a cross check from here to here, the bottom of the mouth, not the bottom of the mouth, the top of the lower lip, right? This I think is the same as from the nostril to almost the bottom of the eye. That's called cross-checking. So that means a little bit over here, a little bit lower than that. Take it from here and from here to here. Okay, this is good. Uh, we just check it. It actually can be even lower, 
okay, a little bit lower like that. So this is would be the uh, top of the lower lip and the bottom of the lower lip is just very difficult to see, but we see a shadow shape right under uh, the lower lip of the mouth. Like this is would be another shadow shape. And the top over here, we have the shape. And for the upper lip, and this the middle over here, we can see that in the, that's the shape, the darker shape seeing the inside of the mouth. But again, we don't know horizontally how we divide it. Now we're going to spend the time on checking horizontally how we divide this space. So this is would be, since we already know the vertical space, so we can see that where is the, the top of the ear. The top of the ear about this kind of angle. You can move that over here, this kind of angle. So it looks like it should be here, right? Like this and coming over. Okay. And let's take a look again. And I think the ear, the inside of the ear would be here. Like connect that over here. Because it's only about uh, less than the space for each eye. So I can see that from here, one, two, about three, four, five, six, seven, about one out of seven from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you want to, you can divide it from here to here into seven parts. So we can double check on that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So this is would be roughly. Sometimes you can continue. When we develop the, into more and more shapes, we can find out even more and more that the ear can be adjusted to maybe a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, but we're going to see. But inside the ear here, you can see that's just the shape, uh, a little bit tippy shape, a little bit smaller shape the inside, but we're not going to go into that much details yet. We can have that, a little line over there for now. Let's take a look at from inside the, uh, the ear over here and the sideburn over here to this side, how we divide the space. Uh, for the eyes, right? So we're gonna see that looks like this is would be one eye space to this corner, right? One, two, and in between the two eyes, it has one eye. So one, two, three, four, and then half on this side, right? This is fair. Now let's take a look. And if I'm going to make half of the, uh, the eye is about this much. So now we're gonna take a look at between here and there, we can divide into four. I love to divide into four because that would make it so easy. So first you're gonna divide into half, right? This is, will be the inside corner of the eye, divide into half. And then this side had another half. And this side have another half. So that's good. So now you see one, two, three, four, and half. So that means this eye is sitting in this space from this corner to this corner. Is that right? Interesting. You see, there's all step by step process. It's not really uh, complicated. I would see some people say it's complicated because this is what you feel, but each step you're taking care of one small issues. And that task, each, each small task, is all doable, all simple task. Okay, you got coming over here, and that's a little like a triangle. Now you can see that's just the eye sitting over here. This is good. First, we figured out the vertical space, and now we figured out the horizontal space. Now this is good. Now we see the whole eye over here and we can draw the detail in here a little bit later. But for now, we're just going to draw this as a simple flat shape. Now, 
after you draw figure out the eye, we're going to use the measurement to comparing to figure out the nose. It's very simple and easy. Let's see. I'm not sure you see the inside the corner of the eye is actually over there. And I'm going to take a look at if I'm going to compare with this side, the angle going into like at this angle. And you can use the angle a little bit like this and going over here. And that would be the inside of the, this shape. So a little bit higher, like right there. And take a look at the outside. And you can see from, you can do vertical. Take a look at coming up like this. So you can see that is about right here, this right here. So from here coming down vertically, you can find out that's the nose on the outside over here. Ooh, that is just a lot. I'm going to take a look at one more time. Okay, that's good. Right there. Yeah, it's very much the true. We're going to stick to that. And take a look on this side. And this outside of the nose, where is it? Okay, I uh, take a look at inside over there. It's right here. It's right over here. Now I'm going to do a vertical line coming down over here. And I like to use vertical line is much easier, less complicated. So it looks like uh, his nose moving a little bit more toward the left side instead of uh, right at the center. Okay, so this is good. So roughly this is going to be coming to this location. And then this the nostril, since this is the nostril line, and that means coming up well around over here and coming in a little bit right about the nostril. Okay, right over here. Here you go. Now a little bit higher. Like that. And take a look on this side. And the nose would wrap around over here because this is in the nostril. So you need to wrap around the nostril. The nostril needs to be moving a little bit more toward the left side. Okay, here you go. But you don't want to change the space. Uh, lower and higher. So wrap around this and the nostril shape like this. Right? This is good. Wrap around over there. So this is what be the shape and the location of the nose. And you may be thinking about that. Oh my God, the nose is too wide. Hold on that dot. Okay. It may not. So it's just focusing on the measurement one step at a time. And then you are going to find out the truth as we develop the drawing. Okay, so this is good. Well, after we have that, and now we can see the bottom of the middle over here, and there's a little triangle coming like this. That's good. In this whole step process in the early part, we mostly is to train our mind to see it to recognize things, okay? After you have those in your mind, it would help you, help you when you are making um, the next decision. And also, even though we, we, we erase all this, the understanding of the structure and the proportion relationship, we're still going to be in your mind. So, and then we're going to, Take a look at this corner of the mouth. It's a little bit more, very much like a line up with the corner of the mouth, like that. And this side, they're coming in a little bit. Okay, like this, coming in a little bit. Now we can do that coming in a little bit. So this is, would be the corner of the mouth. And then vertically, this is the corner of this mouth, of this side. Okay, here we go. Now we can. Put that, here you go, like that. Put that right here. Here you go, so this is the corner of the mouth. And then up over here, we can see a little bit softer. This is the upper lip, like that. Everything is simple, a simple task. 
and the corner over there like that. This is good. Now it'll look more and more like him. Now take a look at the bottom of the ear. We can use this angular line or you can do the horizontal line to see where it's lined up with. Hmm. A line up with about here between the nose and the mouth. Now take a look at the angular line to the nostril to see how it look like. This is the angular line. Okay, if you have two stick, one stick over here, keep it and comparing with this stick, right? So this is about the angle. And also this also lined up with this line. So this is good. So this is about the bottom of the ear. And that will be the same thing on this side, okay? That will be the bottom of the ear over there. And then come out a little bit because this is already know the outside of the uh, the face and the cheekbone like that. I'm gonna come down over here and so we can just add a little bit for the ear like that over there. This is good. Now we take a look on this side, the angle. Okay, and we can see the angle, but you can do the vertical compared to the angle. So you can see there is this, uh, uh, triangle sitting over here. You see the triangle? So if you make the vertical line like this, you can see the triangle. It could be going a little bit more in like that. Right. And then the same thing over here. You can do the uh, horizontal, the vertical line from the side over here. And you can see that if we do the vertical line, you can see that is the the angle compared to the vertical line. So a little bit coming in, a little bit this angle coming down like that. Now you can also see this corner turning, the turning point to see how that relate to the corner of the mouth, right? The corner of the mouth over here and you can see that right over there and start making the turn and coming down this way toward the chin. But also here have the thickness. This is the side of the, the jaw under the jaw area. So this is another shape over here, another plane that facing to a different direction. And that this is why this have a different lighting from a different angle, from a different source. Okay, and then that's good. After we know this would be the side of the face, now you can see the neck is connected right from here. So the original uh, observation was correct. You just double check with that. Now at this point, you can see that, oh, that look more and more like uh, Peter. So this is a good thing after you find the rough composition. And then and I'm going to see the top of the eyebrow over here and halfway down and that would be the bottom of this shadow, right? I'm gonna put that right here, one thing at a time, slowly. That's just good. Coming over here, here you go, like that, and the eye can be even a little bit higher. Now I'm gonna find that this is will be the shape, this shape right there, and and inside over here to the little bit higher plane of the nose, it has both have this much and leave the center like this a little bit arch shape over here like that that's good and the middle over here and has a little coming in a little like a little uh triangle reverse triangle like that and then you can see that's good now we're going to take a look at the shape over here. Also, coming onto this side, the, the middle has the shape coming over this side, like that. Okay, the measurements are almost done, right? We measure and find out all the shapes. Now on this side, the side burn, now coming up a little bit like this way, and toward the ear, toward the ear over here. 
the E over here. So this can be a little bit higher like that. Here you go. Now coming up and then coming toward the center. Okay. Now take a look at the outside over here. I think it could be come in a little bit more like that from here. Come in over here. You can see the angle. It's very much like a vertical, but it's just coming in a little bit this direction. So you need to come out a little bit and then and the top over here need to come toward this angle. Go and take a look at inch by inch and you can find the top of his head, which is pretty good, pretty accurate now. Now take a look at the top of the ear. You can compare with the corner of the eye and it's about from this angle coming over like that over here. So all those uh, measurement technique and observational skill, it will be included into the 16 week uh, training for the uh, classical uh, drawing. Okay, here we go, coming up. And this is good. Now gradually connect to the top over here. This is the top of the, the head on the hair, okay? This is good. Now we're gonna take a look at coming down over here and think where that, this is a shape over here, like a, from the corner coming down, like this is a shape. This is another shape over here. So we can see that this, because we already know the corner of the mouth, the location. We can find this and we can take a look at the distance. It's not that much. The distance is a little bit closer. In that case, we can make the modification. Start over here, making a little turn, right? Coming in over here and coming down. Here we go. Now become this shape. So this shape right in here, this area. So we're going to find out shape by shape. And there's another shape over here connect to the outside over here. Okay, there's open the under the mouth and here you go. Like this. And from the dark shape, uh, between the dark shape, there will be a lighter shape. So like I see that, there's a lighter shape. There's a dark shape. Okay, that's good. Now we also see the side of the nose over here. And then coming a little shape down over here, all the way coming a little bit go around the outside of the mouth. You can see that this, this would be the shape. A little bit darker. And there's a little light shape and a light shape and the dark shape over here and leave the light shape on this side. Okay, here you go. Now we're finding all those um, shape, how they actually work together to create a form. The form is present it as shape on in the drawing. So that's another shape over here. That's good. And we can take a look at the top over here and we can see the whole shape over here. You can divide that uh, right in the middle over here coming over. And this is will be a darker shape. Like the top over here, a little bit lighter shape. So here you go from here. Okay. I would highly recommend that our member would put a little hard work into the observational training and then before you're going starting the portrait uh, fundamental program. Okay, here you go. This is good. Now I'm going to start doing some shading. And I'm going to continue using this HP for now. And how I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that with one layer of shading for the entire face. In fact, not just the face. Don't make it too dark, okay? It's just one light layer. And I can even do that in the entire drawing. And when you do that for a while, you want to turn the pencil in a different angle so that it have a little bit more even expense. Okay. Like that along the line. Okay, that's good. And you can do that different 
direction is for crotch hatching. Okay, here you go. Okay, turn the pencil a little bit angle. Continue. Okay, I'm gonna do a different angle like that. That's good. And the whole face over here, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. I'm looking for the bigger shape. Okay, just like we are drawing uh, the, uh, in other medium or painting with watercolor and the bottom of the nose over here, also a little bit darker. And whatever angle makes you feel more comfortable, you just go with that angle. Here you go. The whole area on the lower part of the face is darker. So it's just shaded. And the E over here also a little bit darker too. You may be thinking about, wait, 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 there's what about some lighter shape? Don't worry about the lighter shape, we have an eraser. Okay. Now over here, I'm going to start shading into the bigger shape. But don't forget this, the upper eyelid over here, also a little bit darker compared to the lighter area in the forehead. So making sure you see the bigger shape value before you go into smaller shape value, it going to save you lots of time. Okay, on this side, looking for bigger, because the smaller shape, it actually belong to the uh, larger shape uh, value. That's good. Now here, now I'm gonna need to, we make it even darker. Here you go, a little bit darker and two different direction uh, branding line. That's good. I'm gonna take a look on this side. This need to be have a little bit more. I'm gonna keep rotating the uh, pencil. So the tip, uh, we're gonna keep it as uh, crisp as possible. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Keep making the whole bigger shape consistent. All right, that's good. Here, yeah. there you go. Making that even darker. Okay, that's good. Up over here, this also a little bit darker over here. Using graphite and the charcoal, it has a different setup technique and have a different advantage. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, roughly, we're seeing the larger relationship. For example, the bigger form on the face. And the neck over here, I'm going to make this a little bit darker, like almost like a triangle over here. And now I'm going to see this side and starting almost like in the gap over here. Starting that and coming down. This the angle coming down over here and that's the neck. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to make this whole neck also to be darker. Okay, here you go. Okay. Now I want to do a little blending. I think the texture a little bit too much. Okay. In that case, I'm going to use a paper tower because this is a very big space. And later, when I go into the smaller area, I would use the blender, okay. It just use the, this paper towel have enough texture. I put it rough. So I'm gonna roughly soften the texture. Make it a little bit softer. 
and make your drawing process a little bit faster. Okay, here you go. And you're not erase or the pencil mark, but it's gonna make it a little bit softer. Okay, here you go, like that. Turn around a different spot if you want to. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. And now the value it has been averaged out a little bit more and also give a little bit softer feeling. Oh, that's good. Now we're going to continue to develop it and we're going to develop the uh, a little bit more specific area get a little bit darker. I'm going to change the pencil from the HB to the 2H a little bit darker. Now there, take a look. I'm going to focus on uh, the area inside the eye over here. Okay, I'm gonna have that a little bit darker. Here you go. I'm gonna have that this area. Don't make it too dark. Okay, don't crush the pencil too dark into the area. Just softly, and that's make it easier later when if you want to erase, but much easier to erase. Okay, that's good. Now see the 2B is much darker uh, with, compared with the HB. So when you need to use, need to have a darker mark or the darker value, you want to use a, a different pencil. You don't want to just use the HB, just put it harder and try to make it darker. And that will damage the paper surface. Okay, here you go. That's much better. I'm going to make this a little bit darker, like that. I'm using this uh, pinky and try to support uh, so that your hand may be a little bit more static. Okay, a little bit more stable. Okay, here you go. That's just good. Now I have this area. You see a little bit darker. Looking for the larger shape. Don't looking for the smaller shape. And right at this corner is very much the same the same shape, the same similar area, right? Now you can see, oh, and now this is how you uh, develop the smaller shape inside the larger shape. Okay, here you go. If later you're gonna get some even darker area, what you're gonna do, you're gonna use a darker pencil, right? And coming over here, I'm gonna draw a few lines over here, over. And I'm going to come here to take a look at this area and have a little bit darker shape as well. They are very similar in the value. And also, you don't want to draw the pencil mark as too thick. And you always try to keep some uh, white space uh, so we say the gap between those pencil lines. You see the inside over here still have gap. So it will have uh, allow later have the darker pencil in touch with the paper directly. Otherwise, your, uh, your laser mark would be built on top of another, another layer of graphite, which is difficult to achieve and being, being attached to the paper. Uh, strongly. Okay, here you go. That having this group of line, and here you go, coming in in the middle over here, right over here, like that. That's good. No matter what you do, the technique could be very simple, very similar. Okay, especially the process of observation. Very similar. I know inside over here is going to be even darker, but at this point, it just don't look at the smaller shape. Just looking at the larger shape. 
So with the similar value of uh, rendering with the same uh, graphite pencil. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to coming down over here to the corner of the nose right over here. Okay, I don't need to be, have a full force. Just a little bit, put a little bit line over here, coming around. Here you go. Now seeing this have the shape on the face over here, you see this whole shape over here coming over and and the bottom over here is just right below the the shape of the side of the nose. Okay. I want you to see this as well. And there's another shape. Follow your contour contour and whatever is easier to draw the the shape. Okay, this is the cheek over here. You can draw the line directly inside of the main area, which is the face. Okay, that's good. That's a lot of exercise for your arm. That's good. All right. Now I'm going to come back to do a little bit reorganize. And I'm going to come back with a little eraser. Now come and take a look at over here. And first I'm going to soften the colors, the marks on the forehead. Make it a little bit subtle, softer. Okay, a little bit softer on this side. Okay, that's good. Now what I want to do, I want to use the eraser. Now come here. Now you can separate the inside and the outside. Control uh, your eraser. You don't have to always lift up that much. You can make it a little bit softer. Okay. You don't have to draw fully into the paper. Okay. And the up over here, that would be okay. It's just a little bit. Lift up a little bit. That's okay. Okay, give a little texture. Okay, keep thinking about that's a little bit smaller shape over here. That's good. Now the lower eyelid. Look much better. Inside this area, I need to have some darker. So I'm gonna use a 2B pencil. And to see if that's good enough. I'm going to use even darker. I'm going to use the uh, 5B. And so I want this to be a little bit darker. There you go. A little bit darker together. That's good. Like that. And also here, I want to make this to be more together. Make it a little bit stronger feeling of a consistent shape. Just make this in this angle of line. When you're drawing with graphite, and 
the angle of the whole group of line, it ought to actually help you to describe what you mean and try to go with the uh, cross contour and which is analyze how the surface is turning in that area. Okay, that's good. Still looking for shapes. Don't want to think about the eye, the iris, the the adjust shapes. Okay, I'm gonna have softened that a little bit over here. So step on it. Simple. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna use a little bit harder pencil, which is the four uh, H. I'm going to make this a little bit softer transition. And with those subtle changes, you use a harder pencil. Okay, that's good. And now over here, now I'm going to have it subtly going a little bit darker and darker, coming down here, like that. That's good. And also in the eye over here, and there's also a little bit softer here too. So we did not get to this level of details earlier because we need to focus on the larger shape, the larger relationship. So over here also a little bit, a little bit softer at the bottom. So we can have, there you go, over here, we need to go with this angle, easier to draw. This a little bit darker. Here we go. And also going to create even a little bit more interesting changes, turning from this value going into a little bit more clear down over here. So I'm going to use a 5B pencil, keep a little bit darker, like right here, the corner over here, coming up. Like that little bit darker in here. That's good. Okay, now keep it a little bit more clear inside here by having a little bit more persistent with this 5B. That's much better, a little bit stronger. Okay, now I'm going to use a 4H. Also put a little group of line over here so that make this a little bit lighter, this a little bit become a little bit darker. And this kind of training also make you more patience and more confidence. Because after you achieve a few pieces of very lightness, and you are going to convince yourself you can do it. And that ability will carry on whatever subject matter you are going to draw. And it's the same process, you don't see it as a person. You don't see it as, as whatever the object would be, like an animal or and whatever that would be. But at the end, you're still looking for shape, looking for the positive space, negative space. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's take a look here. I'm gonna give it even a little bit more. I'm gonna have a little bit darker, a little bit over here. That's good. And I'm also going to have a little bit turning over here, one direction, and over here, turn it over here, this direction, and another group of line over here, make it maybe even a little bit more. So when someone looking at it close up to the drawing, they can see actually your intention by using different direction of group of line by going into the uh, different plane, describing differently. Okay, down here I have a little bit darker and a corner over here. 
Yeah, that's good.